ever dreamed of taking a walk through Oregon history, this week we have a treat for you. Hi there, Grant McComey, your host for Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways. We're on a hike through time, geologic time that's not only colorful, but amazing history back to a time millions of years ago when Oregon, as we know it, was a much different place. Welcome to the John Day Fossil Beds National Monument. It is a landscape of enormous vistas and endless horizons that takes your breath away. We can actually see very colorful layers of rock kind of alternating bands of, of brown and red. They really make it a very photogenic place. The 14,000 acre treasure trove of colorful volcanic history, where timeless stories are pulled from the soil, teach us much about Oregon's past. In the case of Blue Basin, you have these badlands canyons, and it also has this very vibrant green color. And it's actually an area where we have abundant fossils. So we go out and collect fossils there. It's a very important place. The John Day Fossil Beds National Monument sprawls across a three unit preserve. So what is this? This is sheep rock in front of us here. Ah. Josh Samuel says visitors are best served by starting their adventures at the Thomas Condon Visitor Center. He started out in the 1860s. He was actually a minister. He found fossils in the area and what he did is he sent them off to scientists at a variety of institutions around the country and really helped highlight what is found in this area and bring it to the forefront for paleontology. All of the rock layers are um, like the pages in the story. Drop-in classes and lectures teach you more about the region. Inside, the center's murals and fossils give perspective on periods that reach back 50 million years. Where you really have a jungle with things like crocodiles here to the environments that we see today, these kind of open grassland, sagebrush environments with things like deer, mountain lions, elk running around. The center is also fossil science headquarters, where the past is revealed right in front of your eyes, one grain of rock and sand at a time. We bring back a fossil from the field and no one has ever seen it before. It's really discovery. Technicians use patience and critical care to remove the rock so to expose fossilized animals that lived so long ago. It's like a little miniature jackhammer. It makes quite a bit of noise and the level of decibels would actually damage your hearing if you didn't use ear protection. But it's the chance to walk the timeless trails I cherish the most at places like nearby Painted Hills. I'm on a short trail called the Painted Cove and what I really appreciate here is the fact they've built a boardwalk above the environment in order to protect it. In this case, it's ash fall dating back 33 million years. The way the clay erodes, it gives it that beautiful color, but also it's kind of a very slow process. So any footprint will last for years. So if someone walks up on one of those hills, we can see their footprint and their trail for years. So it's very important that people stay off the hills so we can really preserve it for everyone. Leave no footprints behind and take only memories is a strict rule inside the parkland. But just 50 miles to the north at nearby Fossil, Oregon, near the Clarno unit of the John Day Monument, Stroll through the back gate at Wheeler High School, where donations are kindly accepted, and pass under the goalposts to take up a handful of fossils you can actually keep. It's just been kind of a local secret. The community knew about it. The uh, community would come up and, and kick around in the rocks and pick up a fossil. It got on a couple of different organizations' websites. Before long, um, it looks like today. Today, the fossils you dig reveal a different scene 30 million years ago when this part of eastern Oregon was more a rainforest, similar to the Oregon coast range of today, with fir, cedar, even sword fern, and small insects, all of it stark contrast to the high desert sage and juniper country of the 21st century. And just down the street, the brand new Paleo Lands Institute will teach you much about the fossils that you collect and perhaps provide a new way to look at the high desert. This center was designed to be sort of a hands-on, get dirty and um, get, get comfortable with science and learn about fossils and geology. You know, it really sparks an interest and whether they're interested in rocks or they're interested in animals or dinosaurs or whatever, I think it kind of helps sort of see that, that that's really real, it's not just something in books. These fossils are something that we can highlight, help people appreciate 
the history of their area, and really these valuable natural resources that are here. I like to think that the goal of a Grant's Getaway is to not only show you something you hadn't seen before, but also teach you something new about Oregon. Here at the John Day Fossil Beds, that is oh so true. Three different units, each a different story. Amazing geologic history. You can find all the details and the directions right here on the Travel Oregon website. So until next week, get out here and explore a piece of Oregon you've never seen before. You will be amazed. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McComey.